Hello viewers, I'm SB, and welcome back to Children of the Sun, where I just got some, like, some, like, medium bad medical news. A little, listen, I got the kind of news that makes you frustrated in a way where it's like, yeah, I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna, you know, do some of this. Noticing that the high scores on this one are remarkably low. I'm okay, kind of. I have a, I have a chronic condition now, apparently that's, listen, we don't need to talk about it. But it is frustrating, and it came with the worst medical news a desperately socially anxious person like me can receive, which is that I'm going to have to make a series of phone calls, <laughs> so. Okay, okay, I am operating the rifle. I mean, that's, there is certainly a suggestion to the, th yep, okay, that's what I was going to say. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what a place to pick up, huh? Oh, I, okay, I see. I see how it works. Don't touch the enemies. Pick up the bullets. Pick up the bullets. Kill, kill, kill is a weird instruction to be given before, hey, don't touch anybody. It, ah, it's really hard. So, to be clear, the right, the right and left mouse buttons rotate the character. The character is moving forward constantly uh, without your input or ability to stop it from happening. Oh no! I didn't think I was going to get turned around there. Shoot. Shoot. I got... Didn't mean to ping the wall there. This is something. What a strange thing to put in the middle of the, the gameplay experience that this has had so far. Oh, shoot, it's really, really easy to clip a wall and end up behaving in ways that are not what you expected. Okay, now I can touch people, I assume? Can and must. The timer is not generous. Never mind, the timer's fine. You know what's weird? Uh, first of all, the angle at which that is going through her hand. But secondly, it wasn't until just now that I got like the No More hero vi Heroes vibes from this game, but it's definitely there, right? I think to a certain extent, the tonal differences probably, probably cloak it a little bit. The sun shines through. Interesting. That is certainly a way to do it. So okay, whatever, whatever it is she's she has, she has had it for some time. Also, those are glowier than usual heads. Shoot two enemies in their glowing weak points to be able to re-aim freely while the bullet is flying. Oh, yeah, that seems useful. I wonder, is that like? for the entire flight of the bullet, or is it one total re-aim per, per pair of weak points? Or let's see. Okay, re-aim indicator turned yellow. Press once during flight. Oh, okay, I see, I see. The problem is I was holding I was holding right click which just gives you the normal bullet turning. You have to you have to click and unclick relatively quickly. Okay, this works just fine. Right so that and that and then just kind of shoot out here, tap and now I should be able to... It's weird, they don't really, um... Heroes don't really point in a terribly useful direction. <laughs> Alright, 
the sun shines through. So maybe I'm supposed to break a canopy or something or hits maybe like hit a patroller while they're walking through the place with the God rays. Is that a, that is a guy down there and that's not a guy up there. All right, if enemies are gonna have these bright purple glowing weak points, that does make it a little bit easier to pick them out from light sources, which I appreciate actually quite a lot. I'm trying to see if there's anybody up on the bridge. Okay, so that guy's got like a, a riot shield with some fencing in it that you wouldn't think would be sufficient to keep a bullet out. So you're going to be the tricky one. Well, got four marks. Let's see. That's really neat that his weak point is his hand. All right, so there's proper re-aim unlocked. We don't want to use it just yet. Uh, well, hold on. Let me Let me try something here. So, okay, hitting hitting one more weak point doesn't give you the ability to, um, to re-aim again. It was the thing we needed to learn. So that's going to make this tricky. Hitting this guy up here, I thought was going to give us... Yeah, I thought, I thought hitting two was going to give us a straight shot to three, and then we could shoot out the side of the bridge but there is a lot of junk on the bridge between two and three. Let me, let me just see something real quick here. Does his, um, does his little fenced area here actually block the bullet? It does. Presumably that's metal grating inside of some Lexan or something. So how do I clip all four of them then? Because it's easy enough to redirect the bullet to catch the guy under the bridge or the guy behind the riot shield. But how do I get both? Okay, maybe the idea is you start with two and like maybe guy number four has is out to the side enough that he has a direct line to one. So yeah, let me try starting with number two. I gotta hope this guy doesn't freak out. Pretty tough shot. No. Well, okay, but... There we go. Might be able to get it with the, with the normal re-aim. Which means you can save your fancy re-aim for this moment. Okay, that one's definitely trickier. I did not get under the sun credit. Maybe it's just the bullet needs to pass under the, the god rays area. Let me try it again. I'm pretty confident about that um, that flight path. I just wanna. Oh, I suppose there is there are birds too. We could use birds to to clean this stuff up. But I think I I think I like what we did there basically. This shot's got to be pretty tight, but you're you're given the tools you need to make that work. And then. Ah, I gave it, I gave it just a little bit too long before I started re-aiming. With two walking back and forth like that, I wonder. Oh, maybe, you know what? That something could be for hitting the last shot through the hole in the covered, the covered bridge, right? Like, let me, um, let me mark some birds for this purpose. So maybe what I want to do here is you 
then you get my super aim loaded up. Well, actually, you give me the clean shot, too. I didn't realize it would be that easy, but let's jump to the bird. And from here to the other bird, I think, this bird might give us the shot that we need. Indeed. There it is. And then it's just like, tap, and tap. Oh, I got his arm instead of his torso. I should have steered a little bit around that. Whatever, it's, it's still good. And that's a neat challenge. And the, the extra value for challenge complete is definitely like worth pursuing the challenge every time. Okay. Filled with blood, drifting into their conclusion. Drifting into their conclusion. Ah, okay. I see, there are some dudes doing donuts. Okay, there's like a couple of couple of separate little sideshows going on here. I wonder isn't killing the guys in the cars at all going to be drifting into their conclusion? I wonder if there's something something special about like the timing of the kills. That is a guy over there and he also has a riot shield. There's, okay, and a driver and a passenger for the last two. I'm having a hell of a time marking the driver. There we go. So I probably want to start off with at least one of the Riot Shield guys, right? Mm, tough facing. Might be able to get him from over here, depending on how the trees split. Yeah, like this. Let's start there. Ah, shoot. Just a little, a little too much lead on the lead there. So which direction is the other shield guy facing right now? Okay, this is a good time to... Feels like a good time to just clean them both up. And then we're gonna... There we go. Just use a little bit of that. Mm. I've blown my combo meter, so we may as well take it slow here. Okay, we've got a pair of total re-aims left. So let's just shoot up. Yeah, get clearance here and then... I wonder if you get extra points for having uh, re-aims saved. No, you don't. So you may as well spend them. <sighs> drifting, what, what was it? Was it drifting into their conclusion? It's like maybe you have to hit them both, hit both the drivers through the windshields or something. That could be it, right? Sorry, I have to take my mask off to aim apparently. I really do like starting with the shield guys first, but I think it's probably going to make the other thing a little more tricky. Where's the other car right now? It's like over there. Shoot, I don't really feel comfortable firing 
without being able to see them at all. This is a bad, this is bad timing on my part. And now we're spending a bunch of time sitting in the level losing score. Let's try something. Yeah. Try to make, try and real hard to make sure I'm hitting that weak point. Okay, well, those are definitely both windshield shots, and that didn't do it. Hmm. Drifting into... I mean, I will say this. When I shot these guys, it did feel like they were driving straight. Maybe they're only considered to be drifting during a certain part of their path. I'm not going to obsess about it. Um, but yeah, I, I bet that's it. I bet it's like a certain part of their path counts as drifting. And you have to kill them while they're in that bit. The manu manufacturing lies. Some are on the run. I had to be honest with you. I have a little bit of a trouble, a little bit of trouble reading the um, capital letters font that they're using. It was very ornate. So this would just seem like we got to get some of them running before we... Um, before we deliver the blow, which is a thing that I do not feel like I have a good grasp on yet. Like, sometimes they run when you kill people near them, but not always. Is that not a person? That's just yellow. That's just the color yellow in the world. All right, let's uh, run around this side real quick. Oh, hello. I mean, like, I'm sure if I shoot this guy, that guy will start running, right? I could hit the gas tank, obviously. Um, there is some scoring value in that. I am not getting a great view of the rest of them here. How far can we go around to this side? Okay, just stand in there? Yeah, pretty much. Okay, six is a patroller. See that dude on the ground. There's three. Oh. I was going to say, is he doing like donuts now as well but actually it looks like that guy just leaves the level if you don't hit it fast enough that's interesting i mean obviously that's going to be uh, not great for your score it makes me think that the challenge might be to catch that guy as he's leaving like let him begin to leave and then do it oh no all right. That's going to be my plan here. We're going to try waiting until he starts to leave and then killing him as he's driving away. I get the gas tank from here, right? Yeah. All right, I just want it marked. Birds? No birds. I don't know exactly how long it took, but it was a minute. So I guess let's just. There's a guy in the shipping container. No birds is tricky. Although I guess the birds wouldn't be helpful to. Um, in. Re uh, reorienting into a lot of the enemies anyway because so many of them are indoors. I 
wonder if you just start killing people while this guy is still parked. I wonder if he tries to take off. We're going to try it the first way, the killing him as he's leaving naturally. And then we'll see about the other thing. I wish I had been watching this side of the fence a little bit more closely while he was doing it. Yep, okay. It does feel tricky from here, for sure. Can't hit a weak point, but it's still something. Uh, let's just shoot outside and then take the retarget. Get a retarget. Two left. We can get one of them right here without spending the real re-aim. And then, oh, this is scary. I mean, they don't, they're not worth anything if you save them, right? We may as well. That, that feels like a very natural and efficient way to do that level. And that is why we came in 2086. You know what? Go ahead and capture that path. That's, that's a work of art right there. Losing track. So. I like the way they draw an incredibly complicated path on that one because they're like, we don't know exactly what the player's gonna do, but it's probably gonna be something like this. The moment you figure out that you can, I think it's probably very natural for a lot of people to be like, how, how twisted up can I make it actually? Oh, this is interesting. So maybe like passing through the train cars or something? Seven. Oh, is there someone over by the truck over there? No, that seems empty. Well, mark this anyway. We might have to go with an incomplete target roster and just figure it out live a little bit. These things happen. All right, I want to save the save number three for a reorienting shot later on. So for right now, let's just let's pick up number two couple of weak points, get him doing a backflip, classic assassin stuff, you always want that backflip. Nope, I was really hoping that was going to get us to just passing through. Okay, wait, 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 just be a little patient. Don't have to spend resources. Combo's already lost. Oh, that was an arm hit, man. Okay, we're still short of target, remember? So I am trying to, um, birds, birds, no birds. Yeah, all right, well. Donk. <laughs> Maybe the other target, did the other person leave? How many was that? Because I was missing a target at some point, right? And I don't... No, okay, I have all seven people marked now. So what is just passing through gonna mean?
I have no idea. Oh, yeah, run around the corner a little bit. Make my life a lot easier. Ah! I shouldn't have tried that, but I was like, you know, we might be able to hold on to our combo if I do this. Uh, I do like getting this one running. I was gonna wait here until our combo's almost expired. Pick him back up. Maybe you have to shoot through like one of these more serious train cars. Nope, that doesn't do it. Maybe you have to shoot through. Ah, shoot. I don't know. Maybe you have to shoot through a bunch of train cars a bunch of times, or just passing through is like really. It could mean a lot of things in this context, right? Alright, I'm taking this one. Because my new plan is passing through both trains with one shot here. Nope. Okay. Thought it was worth a try. This is ugly. <laughs> Worked out in the end, I guess. We do have the back of that guy's head now. Shit. Yeah, all right. I don't know. I don't know what it is. But I'm fine moving on to Dreaming of Redemption which apparently is not a traditional level at all. Huh. It was a pretty ambiguous animation that the text, uh, I think, clarifies significantly. But without that text, there's a, a couple of ways of reading what's going on there. Shockingly, we got a zero. Yeah, this this game is so rad. This is this is such a cool thing. All right, most can burn, but inside they can't. Well, it sure does sound like blow up everybody who's outdoors. Maybe we'll see how feasible that looks. I mean, there sure are a lot of things here that might blow up. 
Alright. Some enemies wear armor that you can only penetrate with a with a power shot. Hold the button to pick up speed. If you reach maximum speed, you can penetrate the armor. That's pretty cool. And I would assume armored enemies are probably uh, normally vulnerable to getting blown up with an entire gas station. Feels to me like the kind of thing that would be true. Is that a person back there? It sure is. Yeah, the, the purple of the weak points is actually really helpful to me in picking out where exactly the enemies are in the, like in the further in the background. headlight. I think there might be one more inside. It's a little hard to tell in this um, this dude walking around with his shield is like walking directly in front of me to make sure that I can't uh, perform the task that I am intent on performing over here. So okay, blow everybody up. Let's see. I guess the patroller is the hard one, right? So let's try to get Try to get the patroller near a car or something. He walks pretty close to this car over here, I think. I guess that one too. I think I think this is our our opportunity. can't see people as well as I was hoping. Uh, Whatever is left of this, like, there we go. Whatever is left of this chunk of concrete in front of us is really fucking on my aim. enough distance to gain speed yeah that's actually really interesting that introduces an ordering problem where you have to be able to you have to be able to come at them from quite far away can I see you through no there's like a closed garage door there so maybe we need maybe what we should do is start with this guy right here That guarantees that I will get the get the clip. Also, notice no um, no bonus score on the power shot or anything. Interesting. Uh, so that gets one person outdoors with an explosion. There's another one. This is a good redirect. We still only have three people lit up, and I don't know where everybody else is. By everybody else, I mean the one remaining guy. Because that explosion was really effective. Yeah, I don't... Hmm. I haven't seen anyone else. I do love to blow stuff up. Just <laughs> take a quick tour of the level through all the explosions. Aha! Apparently. Ah, uh, okay. So there's a guy way back there. He's armored and he's standing next to a lot of explosives that I couldn't tell were explosives from the angle we finally shot at them from. But now that I know what's up, we can probably make this work. He's like way back there though. All right.
Try to get shield dude before he walks off too much. Alright, use this thing to redirect. Because I should have a clean shot on the shield guy or the armor guy now. Nope, still not enough speed. Okay, I think I do have to take him first. My my main concern with that is that it makes it a lot harder to time the shot on the patroller. Because I don't know where that dude's going to be. Are you close enough to this to die from it? No. Shit. It's just standing there, smoking. All right, hold on. Let me... Tapping R resets it. Lovely. Good, good, good. All right. Time... Not much time is going to pass once he starts shooting. So you got to have this shot, but make sure that target number one is on his way toward the vehicle. All right. Let's hope that's sufficient. Well, actually, I think I got him with that one. Yeah, cool. Right, that does make things a little easier. And then we can bounce to this thing. And from here, gas tank of the car. Unfortunately, I didn't actually get, ooh, yeah, no, this is a problem. I didn't get two weak point shots because, you know, obviously we're not trying for them very hard. So I don't have a good re -aim. I know the last guys are over here. Oh, this is rough. Can I see the gas tanks from this angle? Oh, no, I totally can. Never mind. We're good. That said, that's still really sloppy and slow, and probably our score is not great. Well, you know, 1100, it's not, certainly not the worst we've ever done. Yeah, I'm comfortable just moving on. That is a cool one, though. 350 meters are a long way. <laughs> okay, another one of these. So, I, I don't know if it's the first shot or what, but something's gotta go, something's really gotta travel a distance. Everything in the air is just burning stuff. No birds. What are you carrying? Ah, not clear. Alright, so there's a couple of enemies walking around on the bottom floor here. Stand television. Huh. That's interesting. I started, I still think that was, yeah. I doubted my eyes a little bit on the, on the sign up there. Oh, you're just like fully a dude standing in the sun. So one thing I'm definitely curious about is like, what is the farthest point from anything on this mission that we could get a bullet ricochet? It's probably like the gas tanks of these really high up cars, maybe? Also, I appreciate that every car in this setting has a gas tank on both sides to facilitate your, uh, your bullet ricocheting needs. This is the closest we've ever been to one of these guys before. 
And of course it's an armored guy. Hmm. Well, I definitely don't see everyone. So I wonder if the 350 meters is like the shot to there or there, or if it's, you know, like bounce way out and then come back into the field of play. Kind of want to leave that available for retargeting later. Let's, um, let's do some traditional work here first. See if we can identify... I can get time to retarget. Also, I don't know if it needs to be too... Okay. Two weak spot hits is all it takes. They don't have to be consecutive. Or they don't have to be, um... Yeah, consecutive. Alright. Cleared up an armor guy like that. It's pretty solid. Look around and see if there's anybody else... Around here that we couldn't see before. That we can see now. And the answer doesn't, um... Doesn't fill me with confidence. Yeah, hmm. Gotta be a gas tank on this thing. Maybe there's. Maybe there actually is only one gas tank on that car. That was a pretty generous, uh, pretty generous move. I don't believe I really had that. Huh. Where are, oh, there's one of the enemies we've been missing. Can I see down into that room very well? No, not really. Shooting up to the higher car is certainly not going to help with that. I might have to just accept. Oh, shoot. I tried to recorrect to his arm real fast there. All right, let me try. I just want to see if we can light up the challenge here. So shoot all the way out to here, and then shoot back to something on this side of the table, which would probably be like guy number two, or... I don't know that guy number two is actually further from the car than I was. It's worth looking around while we're up here. Being able to mark that ninth guy would be awfully nice. Maybe? Not in here. Let's just pick some fools up. And yeah, that car does not actually have a destructible. I guess one thing I could do. Oh shoot, I um, I clicked the wrong button. I was gonna say maybe the 350 meters is you shoot the ball, you shoot the bullet way into the distance and then bring it back around, right? I could see that being the case. All right, I'm gonna start with an arm shot on this dude. that weak spot oh the other guy is like way more inside the shop than I thought aha well there's our missing target ah shoot 
tried to do it without spending the full realign. Because now I think we're in a lot of trouble. Can I see any of those cars from here? I can. Yeah, unfortunately, that doesn't, uh, doesn't give me more time on my combo timer. So I'm going to get to rebounce once here. Okay. I guess it's total travel time for the bullet, probably. So we're going way out. We're turning around. And we are just drilling this guy. And does that give me enough distance? Oh, it doesn't even give me actual direct vision of the dude. Uh... Well, we can do this, so let's do it. That's not going to be enough distance either. But he's near some cars. If I can... Yeah, we can still get him for sure. That'll do it. Alright, that one takes some effort. That's an extremely normal amount of skill. Again, please give me that. All right, there we go. That's how you're supposed to do it, I think, probably. That's it's better than what Batman did. Tell me what's up. I'm doing better than what Batman did. How are you going to pretend? All right, open mic night in hell. Someone is blocking the entrance. You know what? I think that's where we're going to pick it up next time. That's going to be it for us for today. Thank you all so much for watching. I'm having an excellent time with this. It is, this is just fascinating to me. Um, I hope you all are loving it as well. When you come back next time, we're attending open mic night. The in hell part seems almost redundant. And we'll see you then.